Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about hierarchies and joints in Maya. So right now I'm just creating some polygon primitives, cones, uh, which I'm stacking on top of one another. You can also see that I've changed the pivot point to be at the base of the cone. And then I'm just going to quickly create a hierarchy in my outliner by middle mouse dragging the objects underneath one another. You can see that they're nested underneath one another now, and I can uh, rotate them uh, individually still. I can also select them all and rotate them all at once, and you can see that it works as a chain of objects. I'm going to move the whole cone hierarchy off to the side because now I'm going to start looking at joints in Maya. Changing over to my rigging model, uh, my rigging set. I'm going to go to create joints, and I'm just going to reset so I'm using just the standard settings for joints. To create a joint chain, all I need to do is uh, left mouse click in my viewport. And when I want to complete the chain, I can either press enter on my keyboard or right mouse click. Notice that even though I was creating this joint chain in my perspective viewport, they still lay on a plane. And if I expand my hierarchy in the outliner, you can see that the joints are nested under one another, just like the hierarchy that I created with the cones earlier. I'm going to create another joint chain in my perspective viewport. Again, remember that it'll create it on a plane. And to illustrate this fact, to make this more clear, I'm going to actually create a polygon plane uh, in, in my workspace. And as you can see, the joint chain is on a plane. It's not all that effective to draw joint chains in the perspective viewport, in my opinion. I'm going to go to the side viewport and create a second joint chain. And I'll go ahead and duplicate my plane to illustrate that this joint chain is also on a plane. I'll go through these other examples a little more quickly, uh, drawing another joint chain from the front viewport as well as from the top viewport. What I'm trying to illustrate here is that it is in fact easier to create joint chains in your orthographic views with the understanding that it is creating it on a plane. Joint chains are unique hierarchies uh, that are very efficient for creating the skeletons for our characters which I will illustrate now. I'm creating another joint chain here in the shape of an S uh, because I want to illustrate something about joints that's important. Now notice when I uh, change over to my rotate tool I want you to see how the rotate manipulator is oriented. Notice that I can rotate on the x-axis and that the rotation runs down the length of my joint. When you create joint chains, you start at the top of the hierarchy and uh, you work your way down. Now, each time you create a child, it's making the parent point at that child. That's why uh, the rotation for each of these joints goes uh, points at its child and is able to rotate the way it does. I duplicate my joint chain and then freeze the transforms on this hierarchy, you'll see something very different. Notice here that the joints do not point down toward down the hierarchy at their, their children. Therefore, it rotates very differently. This joint is rotating uh, oriented to the world, whereas this one is pointing to its child and therefore can rotate along its length. It may be a little confusing, but if you try it out yourself, you'll see the difference. 
I'm going to go to my move tool and uh, change some of the settings in it so that you can see this difference a little better. By double clicking on the tool it'll open up its settings and I'm going to change it to move along component. And what you will see is that the red arrow is pointing down the chain but because I froze the transforms on this hierarchy, you'll notice that these joints are all oriented to the world. When creating joints, you'll start to get a sense of when you want one behavior as opposed to the other. So far, we've only looked at uh, single chain hierarchies. However, if you think about your own skeleton, you have two arms, two legs, both branching off of your hips and off of your torso. In my side viewport, I've created a single chain, a single hierarchy. What I'm going to do now is switch over to my front viewport and create a second and a third chain. Which I will make branching off of my original hierarchy that I created in my side viewport. So how do I attach them? It's very simple. You select your child, you select the child, and then you select its parent and type P. And that will create the connection. It'll connect it to the hierarchy. And there we go. Now we have a, a more complicated hierarchy that has two additional chains branching off of it. And here you can see it in my outliner. You can see that uh, everything is nested uh, in a hierarchy. I can work my way up the chain as I'm doing now. And I'll add one more by going to my top viewport and creating another joint chain. And going into my perspective viewport, I might perhaps move it up a little bit, position it where I want it, and then select its parent and type P. And once again, create another connection. Now, when I look at the orientation of these and I work my way up and down the hierarchy, notice that uh, the joints are all pointing at one another and they're all oriented um, in a manner that, um, that I actually desire for these particular joints. But I'd like you to take notice of the first joint in the chain. Uh, I'll work my way to that, and I want you to see its orientation, which is also pointing towards its child. Uh, you can see it rotates nicely along its x-axis. Uh, but this might not be the behavior that I want for the root of my skeleton. So to address that, what I'm going to do is create a single joint. I'll just create it and then press enter to complete that. This joint, because I didn't point it at a child, is oriented to the world. And now what I will do is I will select my hierarchy and I will parent it to that uh, first joint. And now I can rotate the whole hierarchy and it is oriented to the world. There's just one more thing I want to illustrate before I move on to a more, uh, some more practical examples. Okay? So I'm going to select one of the joints in my chain and I'm going to rotate it. Now notice that uh, the way that it's oriented, when I rotate it, it still points at its child. And if I change my move tool to component, you can see that the red arrow points to the child. But what happens if I move one of these joints? So I just changed back to world move. I'm going to move the joint. And now if I change it back to component, notice that 
the joint still is pointing in the original direction. It's actually not pointing at its child anymore. It's important to understand that this is how joints behave. Explore and experiment with joints in Maya to get a better feel for them. The better that you understand joints in Maya, the more effectively you'll be able to use them. Check out my next video and see how I put these tools and techniques into practice. And as always, thank you for watching.